It has been brought to my attention that some people in this room may be attempting to break party lines and vote to support the opposing party's health care bill that we have already agreed to kill. Baby, do you know anything about this? No, Senator Raffitt. All I know is that this bill doesn't fit the party's budget proposal. It will be foolish to even try it. Are you so sure, Senator Bibbitt? Because I've heard that one of the bill's sponsors has promised to vote in favor of your infrastructure bill. Now, Raffitt, I don't know what you're implying here. Well, what I do know is that Harding's been making some phone calls lately. Oh, come on, Bibbitt. Is that so, Senator? I, I know it is. I would never betray the party in this critical hour. Are you insinuating, Senator Harding, that Senator Bibbitt is a liar? No, ma'am. I admit, I have been making phone calls, just trying to negotiate some terms on our behalf. So you've ignored the party's previous understanding that this bill would be throttled? No, ma'am. I keep my promises. It was all just... it was a mistake. It most certainly was. I must say, Harding, for such a long time figure behind these doors, you show little care for how you represent us. Represent us, huh? By us, do you mean the U.S. or just us? Senator McMurphy, you're late. Uh, who cares? Harding, great news. I've talked to Casey, and he's going to agree to our terms. We get everything we want for this building. What's wrong, Harding? You look like you've seen a ghost. I told you, Rats. I told you. Senator McMurphy, I was under the impression that our previous vote on this bill was valid. Well, there's new terms. We get some of our budget proposals. I'll be right back. Question. If I bring this healthcare thing up again, which of you birds would vote in favor of it with me? I tell you, I can't figure it out. Harding, what's wrong with you for crying out loud? This bill is the fix we've been waiting for. <laughs> what, you afraid if you raise your hand, the old buzzard will cut it off? Perhaps I am. Ratchet has the capacity to make things worse for us. She decides who sinks and who floats here next fall. This bill isn't worth the risk of losing re-election. I just... I don't think the vote would do any good in the long run, Murphy. I just don't think it would do any good. Oh, really? I never voted against a health care bill during my lengthy stay in the House, not once. The country needs this bill, and we're going to have a riot on our hands if we shoot this down. Geez, what do y'all need to see the problem here? A public referendum? A nationwide poll? What do you need to realize that sucking up to Ratchet is a bad idea? You sure know how to convince the American people that this party can't do jack to help them. Why not just go full anarchy, McMurphy, huh? Let the tax dollars flow. Shut up, Harding. You act like you, you know about loyalty when everyone knows you've been cheating on your wife with the chief of staff. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that was too far. Ah, uh, but tell me, Senator, isn't this what we do? Go too far, accuse one another in the name of our loyalties? Heck, we're just a bunch of chickens in a pecking party. We are a party of cowards who attack each other's wounds and bleed our values everywhere. And you know who's the first to peck? Senator Reich. Sorry, everyone. Now, what was this about negotiations? I thought we had made it clear last time that we were going to kill this bill. This is not a doggone dictatorship, Senator Ratchet. I know for a fact that we can get enough votes to pass this thing with bipartisan support. Bipartisan, Senator, implies that the party is on your side, and I cannot stress enough that it is not. Now, where do you even see yourself getting these votes? I do. Let's take another vote here. Let's give these men and women a chance to redeem themselves. Are you certain that another vote will satisfy oh, you? Oh, it will satisfy me. I just want to see who at this table has the guts to defend the people they swore to protect. It's that attitude, Senators, that makes me question whether or not you all would be happier if this was Senator McMurphy's last term with us. Very well. Who here wants to vote against the party and the budget and support this bill? It seems you have 50% of the vote, Senator McMurphy. However, as you should very well know, it takes a majority to carry a vote. A majority, Senator McMurphy, that you do not have. Come on, did it, yo, hoot? The vote is over, Senator. 
the motion fails to pass, meaning adjourned. Is that Bromden? Ratchet, come back! Senator Bromden! Thank goodness I found you, sir. I need some help getting Ratchet on board with Casey's healthcare bill, and if you could just... Ratchet, over here! Listen, Bromden, I need your support. I can't do this without you. Just let me hang, will ya? Senator Ratchet, Senator Bromden here is willing to support the health care thing. He wants to, you know, help me out. I'm sure Senator Bromden, in all his years of tenure here, understands that the proper decision has already been reached. No, 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 you don't understand. See, Senator Bromden here has one of the largest constituencies in the country and a wonderful reputation. He's willing to cross the aisle with me, ain't he? Ain't you? Senator McMurphy, the vote has closed. Is this the democratic process you cherish? Values being stripped away? If not, on this vote, the yeas are 59, the nays are 41, the 60 vote threshold having not been achieved, the bill is not passed. To the death of a bill. Under the previous order, the Senate will proceed to executive session to consider the following nominations which the clerk will